Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is on how to study for your SPOTS exam. So most of you, if I'm talking to you, you're probably an upper level officer. Actually, there's probably quite a few of you I've been watching, but this is geared for you upper level officers, so you should know what you're doing. It's pretty straightforward, so let's dive into it. So I had a hard time passing my Wright brothers, my Mitchell, my Earhart. So I knew that when going into spots, it would involve me doing a lot of studying, especially since I had some things that I had to kind of prove with it. So I knew I needed to pass my first trial. Like it was not an option. And so um, also let me just set the stage. I'm also a freshman in college. So I was doing college life and all of that while studying for my spot just because of the way things worked out. Um, and so I'll kind of talk about all the different elements of that. Um, the prerequisites for attending a spot is pretty straightforward, straight from the website. Um, be a cadet, know the oath, be an eager cadet, um, CBPT if you're over 18, and then how to actually do it is you just send an email to your squadron commander. Um, I would CC your DCP or like whoever you're kind of friends with on that upper wing level because it's going to make it faster. Um, another thing is I would schedule this out about a month in advance or so because, well for me, my proctor had to drive three hours. Um, so it just kind of schedule in advance. Um, you can find all the details on Stripes to Diamonds. It's pretty straightforward. I'll link it below. So one of the things, it's 60 questions, unlike the 50 with the other, um, which is kind of nice because you can fail a few more. It's also still the 80% to pass all multiple choice, eight, four options, A, B, C, D, um, 80%, 60 minutes. So you do have the same amount of time for 60 questions. That gives you a minute per question. So kind of you choose there. And then the leadership is pretty, it's all the books you've studied. So book, learn to lead one, two, three, and four. And then you've got 39-1, 60-1, and 60-33. So Kent programs, uniform, and drill manuals to study as well. I don't particularly remember there being several questions from there. Um, but I did study those beforehand. And a lot of that's common sense, especially if you've done a lot of you've been heavily active and that involves reading the regulations. So that was something that I didn't really worry on like making flashcards for or anything like that. And um, if there was questions, it was maybe one or two from all three of those. Um, the aerospace, the one thing I did mess up with is I didn't really pay attention. I was just like, study the aerospace. So I studied like the first like five or six books, those little like white thin ones. And then I studied all of Journeys of Flight. When in actuality, you only have to study chapters one through 10, eight three and two through 19, 21, 23 through 27. So a lot of the easier ones are kind of in there, but that gets rid of chapters 11 through 17, 20, and 22. So that's quite a smaller chunk. So the aerospace knowledge is actually a lot less copious than with the leadership, um, but it's definitely still something you need to pay attention to because a lot of the questions are more detailed. With leadership, some of it's common sense, but when they ask you who is the pilot of an X-15, you can't just go Oh, make it up. Um, and then there were some questions that like when looking back afterwards, like seeing which ones I got wrong, um, one of them was actually about the X-15 and it was talking about like the pilot and they offered two pilots and both of them were pilots for the X-15 and one of the questions it was like, who's the first or something like that. So you actually have to have good, solid, like detailed information on these things. You can't. Okay, so my studying was kind of very copious, like I said. Um, so I read through all of the, all of the leadership except with book four because I actually don't have the hard copy of book four. So I did a lot more skimming of group book four and I really regret that. Okay, so my studying was kind of very copious, like I said. Um, so I read through all of the, all of the leadership except with book four because I actually don't have the hard copy of book four. So I did a lot more skimming of group book four and I really regret that. So for each leadership I made, as I was reading, I kind of, the big things that emphasized, um, not necessarily just the objectives, but definitions, things that I thought were important, um, I wrote down and I did them in different colors just because I had nice markers and um, I have page after page, like this is all just the same, page after page. Um, and so once I read them through, I felt decently confident about them, but then I created this nice little like check thing because I was kind of worried that I'd end up on accident, like overstudying one area, not enough. 
Um, so this just has each of the chapters listed, and then I have like three sections because I was like, if I study each section like three separate times, then it'd be good. Um, and so then, um, if I studied like if I read it through, then I'd put it down, and then I use Quizlet a lot, and I'll link some qu good Quizlets below, and there's also some Study Blue ones that are really good. Um, so I'll link those in the description or in the yeah in the description. Um, but I also created some audio because I do live in Corpus um, Christi, and I'm actually from Houston, Texas. It's like a four hour drive. So actually, like as I was recording some of the notes, I actually just kind of read it, and there's some audio for some of them online. And I've actually done that for several tests in the past, but I recorded audio of just like good notes and things like that. Um, and I probably had like two hours of recorded material. So as I was driving there, I listened to it. And then as I was driving back, I listened to it. And I drove back like several times because of some instances. Um, but I think that was a nice way of just like cementing some of the knowledge in there. Um, and then so I just think that was a way that I knew that I could learn. Um, so this was just, I ended up not filling it out all the way, um, but you can see like I would just make a little note of every time I studied that um, and that's really what it came down to when it came to studying is I read and the first time I read for books one I actually created flashcards um, and I just has like, it says history of the flag and on the back I could just write whatever. Um, I ended up using Quizlet a lot more so I actually transcribed these to Qu Quizlet. Um, and then for Quizlet, I use like their study guides for aerospace, and so those are all in in Quizlet now. So I spent probably close to like a hundred hours on Quizlet, and like I said, I know there's other people who pass like after a week of studying, and I knew that just would not be me. Um, so I had to kind of go the extra mile. And when it actually came to the day, um, the days beforehand, I tested on a Sunday afternoon, so. Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning, I pretty much all I did was study. I nine to five was studying. Um, and then PT, um, I may do another video on the PT, but it's now outdated since we've gone to the beta. Um, I'll post like what that is down below and you can see all those details. Um, it, it's pretty straightforward. It's a little different now, so I don't really feel like I have the expert knowledge to speak to it. Um, in just case you're curious, I got mine in October of 2017. So, if, depending on when you're watching this is depending on how accurate my information still is. Um, hopefully soon I'll have a video post on kind of more about my spots. I took a, a video like as I was kind of studying the day of, or the night before. Um, so I'll post that and probably and one, another one in a year and tell you just a little more about my spots and kind of my journey to it and all that as I begin to phase out of CAP. Um, if you have any specific questions, um, the questions are not necessarily based on the objectives. I didn't feel like. Um, but more concept heavy and they were less subjective like there was not a lot of room for interpretation like Silver Patrol is looking for one answer and the answer is there it's one of the four options so you just kind of have to pick it out um, you really can't just go in and be like I'm gonna wing it because you do have the limited three options um, and it really is like the questions some of them I remember one and specifically like when reading it I was like I've never heard of this before so I was solely guessing and when you have to pass with 80%, you really shouldn't be seeing any questions and you're just like, I have never seen this concept before. Um, aerospace was a lot easier for me because it was just memorization based um, and the leadership, I feel like I kind of clouded it with my own leadership philosophy and like what my thoughts are on leadership versus just what Silver Patrol wants. So it's just something to keep in mind. If you do have more specific questions on this, um, my advice is use Quizlet, study the material and actually take your time. Um, as far as it goes, I probably studied for six months very seriously for about three week, like the last three weeks, because um, I was I wasn't sure when I was actually going to test. So I actually started studying in March is when I kind of just lightly was like perusing, because um, I had intentions of testing in June and then continued that and then. I spent about a week right before when Hurricane Harvey hit studying, um, thought about testing then, didn't actually, things like that. So if I think I would have stuck a date and been like, I'm testing today, it would have been a lot easier. Um, so once again, I hope if you understood this, hope you have any questions, leave them down below. I'd be happy to help or answer to the best of my knowledge. Um, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.